Welcome or welcome back new viewers and game bears for some more Pokemon Skull and Violet. And we're at the poison cap now, and we got ourselves a little cutscene. Oh, it's you. Oh, wait. Excuse me. Oh, it's you, Stacy. So, right to Like I said before, the name's Clive. Please don't forget it. Anyway, Stacy, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. Why did you join? What's the end game? I should have picked that. I need answers, that's all. How do I resolve the situation with Team Star and what's causing its members' odd behavior? Team Star is the subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know. Some say their bullies that their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they're holed up in their bases plotting to cause trouble for the academy. But these are rumors. The matter I am directly confronting with is something else. I'm talking about the Star's persistent Tarancy. Yeah, Tarancy. Truancy. They, they've all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them, in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much as felt step foot, step foot inside a classroom for over a year. And it seems the team's rank and files have recently started stirring up mischief as well. Wouldn't well, that just get them kicked out of school? That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. In order, I informed them that should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all students affiliated with their team. Did I change his voice again? I keep doing that. Oh, but I'm afraid there, there's been no response, and the and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between disso dissolution or expulsion is high upon, is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone with Cassiopeia, it d it couldn't have come at a more crucial time. Oh, there she is now. How convenient. This is Cassiopeia. Can you hear me? <gasps> Another time. Be careful. I see you're coming up with one of the Team Star's bases. Uh, was there someone with you just now? Nah, buddy. Nit, nah, totally not lying to you. Well, if you weren't, then Team Star will have its guards up after losing one boss to you already. This base won't go down as easily as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. All right, let's get on in here. Ride. I'm gonna jump. Ah, blast! I can't jump the fence. Do me a favor and go on already, would will you? No, I will. I want to see the boss of the Navi Squad. Uh, take me to Don Atticus. Don Atticus. That's pretty cool. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let anyone outsiders, any outsiders, pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leaving till you let me talk to Don Atticus. Give me a break, you little doofus. The people over there seem to be arguing about something. What do you do? Get a little closer. Alright, that's way too close. Huh? Oh, great. Here comes another rando to ruin my day. <laughs> Didn't think grunts work for a Team Star newbies. Would be this much of a chore. Hold on, Mr. Grunt. I think this girl might be Stacy. Wait, Stacy, that kid who picked a fight with Team Star? Yeah, I should have picked a Verbi rated. I knew it. Oh boy, this is good. Anyone else in the base is still asleep since we were up all night playing video games. Leave it to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. Yeah, and what's in it for you? Now I guess we'll be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. Oh, that man, my life. He's my dear compadre. And we, and when crisis calls, no one has no word. One has no choice but to rally to those dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about, kid. But thanks for the big ass uh, assist. All right, you villain. If you are after Diaticus, be prepared to face my wrath. Bring it. Yeah.
Has it really been five minutes already? Huh. Oh, Gulp. That's the best you get. Ooh, level 30. Kind of wishing I had some ghost ups right now. It's gonna do that stupid spit up strategy again, isn't it? All right, another mud shot will kill. Are you serious now? I only use two, right? Okay, that's fine. Stockpile strats won't work, dude. Fall down now. Gerudo. Switch Pokemon. Alright, Telekinetica needs some action. I have no items to hold, so I'm not unburdened at all, or I am unburdened, I don't know. Oh, screw you. Didn't stand a chance, eh? Well, it is level 31, makes sense, I guess. That's all big, but I'm no warrior. No, I guess, sorry I failed you. Stacy, are you all right? I was standing watch when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. Uh, no fair, you had backup this whole time. Yeah, back up this whole time. Is this boy one of the Academy students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right, I'm not a Team Star member. Uh, uh, I'm not a Team Star. But Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. Stacy, I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and start and get started on the base. Might I borrow you for a chat, my, uh, my man? Don't worry, I won't buy it. Nice work dealing with the guard. Within that uh, base lies the Team Star Poison Crew, the Navi Squad. Their boss, Atticus, designs the outfit of the team. You could say he has, the clo he has clever hands. The guy is also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So since it's beyond us, it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad Pokemon as you can until Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell on the gate once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. 
Time to wipe the damage squad off the map. Yeah, we'll wipe them off the map for sure. Just give me some time. Just healing over here. Good. Yeah, let's save real fast. Are you ready to challenge Team Sadar with the first three Pokemon in your party? Yes. Yeah. Some kid lurked out beating one of our sister squads. And now she thinks she can take us on? Time to give her the boot, gang. Let's show this gator cra a Gatecrasher what Team Star can do. And if you're listening, Gatecrasher, know this. At least you can beat 30, Pokemon, 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes. Our boss won't lift a finger to deal with the likes of you. Alright, to beat 30 of them. Alright, kill them! Oh, hey, a clod. <coughs> Excuse me. Kill them! Show them violence! Go! Oh, violence! I love violence! Yeah, there's one who's dead. Among Us is for some reason in this game. Kill him! <coughs> Kill them! I don't think this is done too well, honestly. I should be able to throw him out numerously, but I just can't. Oh no, it's all gonna get dead. <coughs> Excuse me. What are the? Oh, that's ghastly. <laughs> For some reason, I thought that was something different. Hey, vending machine. All right, Telekinetic is back in action. That's a swallow. <coughs> Man, my throat's killing me. There's nothing over here. What are you looking at? I don't know. All right, come on. Kill them. Violence. I love violence. Kill them all. Burn him! <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Recall. I want to recall my curlier, you doof. Kill them! Okay, this seriously could have been done a little bit better. Just attack, man. Can't be that hard. I really think I should be going through this a bit smoother, but I'm just not. I don't like it. There's gotta be another path around here. Or maybe go up this ramp. Alright, we can get to new our violence! Alright, we just need one more Mon down, and... Alright, clearly I forgot something somewhere. I don't know where it is. <laughs> yeah, they got another vending machine over here. Let's use it. I don't think we really need it, but yeah, let's use it. Oh, 
All right, here we go. Hey, it's a viper. All right, that's that. She's way above our level. We got to get the boss. He looks like a Naruto character. I think this is a dude. I can't tell. <clears throat> Pray for, forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel, Stacy, I take it. You have some nerve powering your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. Oh, rude. A plea, a plunge into grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. On God! Yep. You get from the Hidden Leaf Village or some village, I don't know, the Hidden Poison Village. Ah, oh, good start. Nazi but Punishment allow... Uh, not but punishment allow these wretch items. I can't read. Also, are his Pokemon all higher level than mine? Oh no, this is gonna be a bad one. Oof, son, that's doing too much. <clears throat> Certain moves can poison you, Lumir. Yeah, I'm a uh, poison type myself, dude. You can't poison me. Maybe I came into this one a little too strong. Them level jumps are getting me. Alright, because you only use poison types, no reason to use toxic spikes. Alright, let's get Web Trio in on a clean switch. Because he's likely to just keep using a uh, sucker punch. Yep, there we go. That's his whole strat. Alright, let's beat that priority. Bye bye. <coughs> Alright, muck. Oh, you know, I got a strategy here. We're going to keep lowering your accuracy for a while. That should be pretty well. Alright, Mr. First Move. <clears throat> oh, screw you. Of course that's going to hit. Yeah, of course you're faster than me somehow. The telekinetic guy need to freaking level her up or something. Jesus. <clears throat> oh, you likely only have poison type moves then, so let's do grouper. Of course you're hitting all of your moves. 
Oh yeah, now you want to use most of this. Screw you. <coughs> All right, I got an idea. Let's go into Florigato. I'm going to use you, sir. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you missed. Oh, now the mud slaps want to take effect. All right. All right, that should give me the clean switch I need. Hitting everything. I've lowered your accuracy by three stages. <coughs> now, how are you hitting all of your attacks, dude? Really? Excuse you, minus four accuracy. Come on. Miss something, dude. How are you hitting so many attacks? Miss. <coughs> Thank you. Jeez. Yeah, let's hit every single attack after minus four accuracy. What? Garbage, man. Garbage. Oh great, now I miss attacks. Oh, but he hits a sludge wave with minus six accuracy. Bullshit. Really? It'd be really cool if you miss a few more attacks. Sorry for the boy in gameplay, I'm just trying to patch up the team. Goodbye, Muck. World's bulkiest Muck, I swear. Alright, keep in. 
Oh, this is completely separate from the machine itself? Really now? Huh. That's pretty cool. I guess. I'll lower your accuracy first. Oh, screw you. Of course you have that move. Alright, after this, I really need to go get a flying type. You missed, ha <laughs> ha. <coughs> Alright, we just use assurance. Ow, screw you, dude. Oh, come on, really? Oh, my lord. You have flinch, how lucky can you get? Get out of here, man. There we go. Quit hitting every single attack you freaking get. Thank you, yes, please keep missing like that. <laughs> Goodbye. Get off my screen. Oh yeah, it's the machine itself now. You think you can give me a taste of my own poison? Bye! I will fight until the bitter end! <coughs> oh, these voices are hurting my throat, dude. Spin out? Excuse me? Okay. It lowers its own speed, though. I can't deny that. I can't uh, get mad at that, though. It doesn't have speed boost. I wonder what ability this one has. Also, how are you still faster than me? Minus five speed. How are you fa What? What garbage is that? That's likely a steel type move, so we can take this. All right, with well, how lowered your speed is, why don't we hit you with some mud slaps just to make this a little more annoying for you? There we go, the missing's already happening. That's just what we need. Alright, why don't I terrestrialize? I'll show you my power! The incineration wave! Reduce these evil souls to ashes! Also, it's raining. Yeah, perfect time for a freaking rainstorm. Of course. Thanks, game. Nice talk. <coughs> oh, screw you. No 
At least my terrestrialization doesn't end, so that's pretty cool. Now let's see if he can take one of them noxious torques again. I kind of like how the engine or whatever that is is taking some visible damage. That's pretty cool. That's bottom just We can take that. You know, just keep hitting that past your minus one accuracy. How, again, how are you faster than me? Minus, how are you faster than me, dude? Yeah, when I do my nose lock, I don't care what anyone says. I'm over leveling. This is some garbage. Yeah, my team, the typings on my team are not looking too good. I gotta switch things up. Alright, you know what? Let me help on him in this. You know, it'd be real nice if you missed, dude. Seriously. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna hit him with a mud slap again. Again, minus two. Why? Thank you. Game us at least two more times. That'd be really nice. Really dumb how you're hitting so many attacks, past all the accuracy drops. All right, that ends it. Haha, <laughs> loser. I like when RNG's not on your side, huh? Get off my screen, you fool. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do some leveling up for the next time. I don't care what anybody says. Forgive me, my friend. You didn't use a Grafi Eye. About a year and a half ago. Yeah, now that's a chick. I don't care what anyone says. Forgive me. It's a, a goodly, a godly time to uh, procure the required materials. Uh, whoa, whoa, that was sick. Those boots are, these boots are insane. Ah, yes. The move flame charge was my moose, or those particular piece. Yeah, they're also really hard to uh, move in. This office, everything I, I could imagine it to be. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's like a she's the fighting type person. There's no way you're wearing this weird skirt thing and you're a dude. Uh-uh. I merely uh, wish to create a costume worth the great infernal airy. 
for it. <coughs> Excuse me. For it aligns with your vision, then I am content. Seems our offense upgrades are all wrapped up. Then thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, everyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you because you geek, you geek out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. Hell, <laughs> I'm the ninja's rough and fraught with thorns. I neither expected nor did desire sympathy from the unrefined rival. Oh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus is fighting words. <laughs> yeah, don't listen to the haters, I guess. I think you're really cool. All right, gang, let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into our battle of training. So we're all prepped for Operation Star. We got to be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself, my, myself, heart and soul to honing my battle skills. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot deny the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so, this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Uh-huh, okay. Take this contraption too. It contains a technique that allows it to cover the following gun. Gunk shot. Yep. That strong a move this early in the game, eh? Alright, why are we... What the... Okay. Tasty is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred not bitterness within me, since it was this brilliance. Don't oh, no. hurt. Don Atticus. Oh, wait, no, it's not. I'm talking. Don Atticus. Look at Padre. It seems, it seems this little fellow has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please. Uh, uh, hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever about you all the way here. Uh, I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? <clears throat> I don't care about that academy. The other kids at school... And I were getting bullied real bad. You and the rest of Team Star, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. I didn't realize it was the kid talking. Thanks for the operation you carried out. We were all able to go to school again. And you get out spilled for being a good guy. The good guy. That'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything of the big boss? No. Nah, we have heard not, not a whisper since that faithful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry out. And without the team. <laughs> the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We have no choice but to defend our base till the big boss returns to us. You are you eventually, evidently, trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? <coughs> and trust, no one of us has met them in the flesh. By their own words, they are ruthless. As with the rest of us, to be seen bullied was to blame. That's awful. Though their names and faces be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrades. Our only choice is to mount our vigils for the base. Await the day of no return. So that's why you don't go to school. But, but still, don't ever think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus. You got a... Uh, Don Atticus, you got a long life, compadre, in me. And don't you forget it. My compadre, I owe you a great debt. Yeah, it seems we got one step closer to the truth beyond Team Star's uh, truancy, and the and the bullying at the academy. But more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. They have friendships they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do. I just can't, I couldn't see it. Shamefully, it's shameful how obvious it's been. <sighs> I believe Team Star would be the ones I'd only treasured in my life. Methinks I may have been mistaken. That's more brown than black, actually, for the dark types uh, color there. Stacy, it's me. 
I take it that Atticus Starvage is now in your possession. I see. Now that it's, now that its boss has been taken down, the Navi Squad's days are numbered. Atticus. You're the big boss, aren't you? That's what the game's led me on to be. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there. Now, are you are you here now about your reward? I transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. All right, six hundred. And you are six thousand. I mean, not six hundred. Use those new TMs to strengthen your Pokemon even further. All my supplies up until a unit rep meet you shortly to deliver some bonus materials too. It's Penny. <laughs> Hello, it's me again, from the supply unit. How you doing? I'm your ride on. You're quite a cutie, I think. Even though your dyed hair is nasty. <laughs> what the? What the heck? Yeah, don't be shy. You got some sandwiches on ya. I'm wanted. <laughs> Stop that. Somebody help. <laughs> what the? Your yeah, item's just asleep. <laughs> it drooled all over me. But even is that Pokemon anyway? I have no idea what it is. No, I know what it is. Uh, I guess that's one word for it. Wait, is it really that sp special? Uh, um, but before I forget, here's your reward. Um, you name Stacy, right? Since you're part of the Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of, uh, what do you think of Team Star? Yeah, not at all. You know, I had so much trouble against that boss fight just for being there and being higher level than me. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of um, delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying. And see what happens when you bully people. And they just found it, found it hard to interact with people, kind of like me. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team, Team Star. And they wanted to do us, all they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But uh, mm, that's just info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. Oh, it's you, isn't it, hacking my account, aren't you? Uh, yep, it's gotta be her. I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five b bosses. Someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. <laughs> I don't normally talk talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts. Mine does too. You'll get used to it. So, um, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. I'm gonna go sulk in the tree now. I've had too much inhuman interaction for one day. Alright, screw that fight. Hey, Pissimian's here. And I guess by extension, our Guru shows up too. Alright, allow me to heal up first because, man, the team is looking rough. Uh, actually, wait. You know what? Let me check the map. Can I fly to here? Because if I can, I'll just come back. Alright, Pissimian's greetings, yada yada. Yeah, I don't want to travel all the way up here again. Yeah, we'll just come back over here later. It's no big deal, yeah. Now, let me see what TMs I can get. I'm curious. Alright, it's an avalanche. 
and Psy Shock. Oh, break, break. Just dig, okay. Hey, yeah, we got the punchy moves. And the pledge moves that nobody cares about. I mean, I get what they were going with with the pledge moves, but honestly, it just doesn't work too well. Uh, good to know what we have here, though. Alright, let us heal up. Did I just slide? What, what was that just now? All right. All right, we got enough Pokeballs. We don't need to buy any more for a bit. Let's go back to the poison base. I'm gonna uh, just spend the rest of this episode just catching mons and leveling up, I suppose. Toxic spikes, yeah. Then heal powder. I remember collecting those things all the time back in Harkle Till Silver. And the painted trees we've seen in the trailers? Hey, is that an ice type one? Let's see about this. Oh, that's steel type. Okay. Alright, it's two star. That's pretty cool. Steel type dead here, sir. I mean, it's not that good against fighting types still, so I don't really get the thought process of this.
That was your metal claw. Okay. That's weird that they can still attack even when they have no HP. That's dumb. Nah, I'm not gonna catch it. Come on, we can make it. No! Uh. And they were never seen again. Oh well. We gotta take, we gotta do things the boring way. We have to take the bridge. Well, let me see what that was just now. Alright, I guess it just disappeared. It's just not here now. If the game- wait, oh, I didn't even notice I didn't press A. Alright, there we go. Fire type is your roll. And that's an easy win. No need to catch it. Just a fire type of zero. See the board is just glitching just now. Oh no. Oh. 
Hey, Venomoth. Hey, Mimikyu. Get over here. Alright, I'm gonna lower attack here, see. Really? Hey, you know what? Just throw the Pokeball. No, you know, let's do this instead. Alright, there we go. Caught the Mimikyu this time. Blasted. Triple dive? What's this? Alright, the user performs a perfectly timed triple dive. Hitting the target with splashes of water three times in a row. Now it's basically like surging strikes just without the critical hits. I kinda like that. Alright, let's get rid of water pulse. We don't need this. And we have a Mimikyu. I should use this on the team over Telekinetica, honestly. We really do need a ghost type. Our Mimikyu was only recently identified as a Pokemon. Previously, people thought it was just a ghost wearing a cloth. I mean, by recently, you mean six years ago. Colossus. Oh, I thought that was a Pokemon. Or not a Pokemon, uh, what am I call it? An item.
All right. Fungus, this Pokemon prefers damp places. It spurts out poison spores to repel approaching enemies. I'm not naming it Among Us. I don't care what anyone says. Guster. Who used Gustor? Is his name? Or a name? Alright, this Kamal is here. Alright, incineration kill. Let's do this. Gerber, come on out. Really? I know what I'll do instead. Assurance. I get in this ball. Come on, stay in this ball. Oh my lord, just stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Flames are a much needed upgrade. So, base 60, we got base 90 power now. Good. All right, Komal is back for once. A potent enthusiastic anesthetic can be made by diluting uh, Kamala's drool. The, enthusiast the enthusiastic was used for surgeries in the past. Slappy. I'm gonna name it. Yes, maybe Komal gets an evolution in this game. That'd be pretty cool. I want to see that, actually. <laughs> Alright. I know there's a Venomoth around here. Where was it? Alright, get over here.
No, it's just flamethrower. I'm gonna burn it. Ooh, it lived. All right, I'll catch it. Hello, Takayami Dark Shadow 1015. How are you doing today? I'm not really, I'm trying to avoid the union room for now just so I don't uh, run into any spoilers, but I can take a look at it. Because I'm just trying to avoid spoilers and I'm just catching a bunch of Pokemon and stuff. Alright, uh, if you don't mind me asking, what part of the story do you happen to be up to without any serious spoilers? Because I just defeated the poison type uh, Team Star member. Alright, please don't spoil anything past the Poison Type Steam Star member. I just. That's him in the second ish act of the game, I'd like to say. I don't know. That's just a blatant guess. Alright, again, stay on that ball. Thank you. Alrighty. And please, Mr. Takeyami, if you happen to be enjoying the stream thus far, please leave a follow, and it certainly helps out the community. All right, when it attacks, it flaps its large wings violently to scatter its poisonous powder all around. And now, what should I name this Venomoth? All right, Lee. All right, Lechnum. As in a combination of Leech and Venom. Or a leak numb, I think that'd be pronounced. I wonder if Venomoth has an evolution in this game. Don't spoil it if it actually does, please. Thank you. Alright, uh, I saw some sparkles around here. I want to go find a raid. Not that sparkle, there was another one. There it is. And this looks like it might be Psychic type. Let's see what the Psychic type hat looks like. Alright, Silicarb. Oh, it's Poison type. Alright, never mind. Alright, let's go fight it. And it's another one star. Man, why can't it be a two star? I don't think I can even get three stars until maybe the fourth gym after I've beaten that. I mean, you can fight these gems in any order, so it's not exactly like previous games. It's not exactly, oh, this gem is third, and then this gem is fourth. No, but it's any order. And I believe they level scales with yours, which really does add a little challenge. Alright, let's show this claw and what we're made of. And adds more than half of its HP gone. Seriously, Sand Spit is such a dumb ability. I was stating this during my Pokemon Sword and Shield stuff. But why does that ability even exist? Just give it Sand Stream. It's a much better ability. It's such a... Why would they even give it that ability? It's so dumb. Alright, free candies right there. All right, we don't need to catch this. Goodbye. And also, Takeyami, how did you find me? Did you uh, just randomly stumble across this through some sort of recommendation? Did you search it up through a friend of yours? Let's have some conversation, shall we? All right. Seems like the answer that most people state. And also, uh, how do you happen to be watching this stream? Alright, on your phone, that's pretty cool, because most people tend to be watching it on their, some, I got a response one time, someone telling me that they were watching it on their Xbox, or another person was watching on their tablet, or their PC, 
You know, it's real nice the amount of different platforms people like to watch these on. Now, I think I know what my question of the day is today. What is your favorite poison type specialist amongst any Pokemon game and why? Alright. Yeah, don't need to have one. Alright then, so here's a better question for you. What's your favorite Pokemon type? Just something basic. Alright, Ghost type. Well, my favorite types are Fire, Ice, and Dragon. I mean, they're often very powerful types with that super effect against a lot of things. Well, two of the three of them do, at least. We all know Dragon only super effects against itself. Then you can also make real cool teams with them, too. I always wanted White Kyrim to be all three of those types at once, but let's be real. If they actually had triple types in a Pokemon game, that'd be a little too, uh, what am I, how would you say it? Difficult to understand? It'd be really complicated, is all. Alright, just snatch that item and go ass out, that's what we need. I'm pretty much just wandering around here, just grinding up my team for the next bit. Oh, here we go, the Simians I wanted to fight. Alright, it's best to have Telekinetica get some of that action in here. Let's go! Actually, I don't think a side beam can kill. Why is everything faster than me? A little confusion was unnecessary, but I'm okay with that. Alright, get in this great ball. Alright, I'll send it over to you. Now, is there a Pokemon you happen to have that I don't already have in my Pokedex? Actually, just send me an Oranguru, since if I, I think that's exclusive to uh, Scarlet. I'm mostly just doing this just to fill in the Pokedex, since I'm pretty sure that's a thing I'll inevitably have to do at some point. Whenever it decides to cooperate and stay in this Pokeball, that is. That was all right. That's neutral. All right, get in this Ultra Ball then. And of course not. All right. Oh, screw you. Alright, let's get into something a little more bulky. Man, this Pissimian is such a clod. Not as much of a clod as this clod, sire. Hehe. <laughs> Alright, now let's stay in this Ultra Ball this time. There we go. Alright, there's your Pissimian. Also, if you'd like, for an exchange of a follow, if you'd like me to give you another Pokemon, is that okay with you? Alright, Pissimian, the teamwork Pokemon. The boss uses ten members of the group to go out hunting. The hunting party will, uh, will evenly split the food they don't find with the rest of the, the group. All right, I'll uh, let me know when you're ready. All right, and I'll just think of some random name for this while I wait. Oops, no, we'll do sport. Sports Sapien. Really wish I was playing in handheld mode right now. That would make this easier. Did you? Wow, okay then. Just right in my 3D model over here. 
I got no choice but to fight it. Fall down. Pass Simeon, get out of here. Okay, seriously? These Pasimians really want to fight me that bad, eh? Get out of here, man. Nobody wants to fight you, and also a greetance. Eh, don't need it. Let me see if there's any other of them raids out here. Whose Orwas are found here? Well, blast, now I have to be here until I can catch one. Is it me that Greedon looks a bit brighter than usual? Well, it's definitely not shiny. Yeah, it should be faster than this. Alright, good. Now let's see if we can figure this out. This will be the first Link trade I've done. Even though I've done plenty of surprise trades. Alright, let's set us a Link code, and my Link code will be 4-4s four and 4-8s like it was when I was doing my Sword and Shield stuff. Yeah, get this code? Here you go. Alright, it works a little differently to how Sword and Shield does it. Good. So that might make it a little bit easier to, you know, find the trades you need. Oh, okay, yeah, let me fix that. Yeah, let's stop searching for now. I'm gonna get off of offline mode. Connect to the internet. Oh, mystery gifts. Oh, and I get the, the flying type. <laughs> That's totally not a reference to flying Pikachu. All right, so link code. That should do. And now let's begin the search. All right, where did that Pissimian go that I caught? Man, I really don't like how they just blink in after that. That looks so weird. All right. Also, I'd like to ask, do you happen to have a Quaxley? And don't tell me if they have any of its evolutions. I haven't seen them yet. <laughs> Alright. Oh, is there any other particular Pokemon that you'd like me to trade to you, at least at the point of the game that I'm at? Or you know what, I'll show you, after this little trade is done, I'll show you what Pokemon I have in these boxes. And whichever one you'd like, you can have in exchange for that Quaxley. That sound good to you? Because I kind of want to pull a red right now and have all the starters like I did back in old Sun Ultra Moon. 
Yes, I have Gulpin. Actually, what's uh, the Scarlet exclusive of Gulpin? I didn't know that was a Virgin exclusive, actually. I'm, it's totally not Grimer. I caught a Grimer in this game. Alright, this Pokemon lives quietly in the depths of the forest. The purple cape-like fur gets longer and longer as a rain guru ages. <laughs> and it's level 50. <laughs> Alright, where is the gulpin? Here it is. Well, I haven't seen a Stunky in this game, so that makes sense. Alright, that's the Quaxley egg, I take it? Alright. Well, I guess off screen I should spend some time trying to hatch it. Alrighty, here you go, Gulpin. Uh, is there any other version of exclusive mana at this point in the game that I'm at that you'd like for me to give you in exchange for a follow? <laughs> Thank you for that follow, my man. Really helps out the uh, community. I don't have a mischievous. So, uh, let me just allow you to scan my boxes and you get to choose whatever you'd like for me to give you. Because some of these things I did get through surprise trade, like that ditto sitting up there. I, I'm literally in the area where you get Mimikyu, right outside the uh, Poison Team Star base, so I'll give you it. Alright, here you go. Thanks for becoming a member of the Gamer Bear team, and enjoy your Mimikyu. I, say, I think I just caught this Mimikyu too just before you came on the stream, actually. What is this thing? Hold up, I gotta see it. I haven't seen this thing yet. A grass type? It's a grass. Oh, wait, it's Terra type is rock type. A Capsa kid. <laughs> it's based on a Kappa. How early did you. You know, never mind. I might end up getting spoiled if I ask that. Well, thanks for this extra special Pokemon. I'll uh, use it. Yep, you're welcome. No, do not mention it, man. <laughs> Capsa Kid. A traditional Paldean dishes can be extremely spicy because they include the shed, the shed front teeth of Capsa Kid among their ingredients. That sounds nasty. Why would you eat bird teeth? Fine by me. I mean, I like spicy foods, but that just sounds nasty. Let me check out the mystery gift, actually, so I can get that special Pikachu. Yeah, I'm about to sit here doing a bunch of surprise trades instead. 
I've done the story part I wanted to do in this episode. I'm good. I wonder if it just gets transferred into your box like the Gen 8 games onward do. Because every game previous to that, I think Gen 3 started the mystery gift stuff. And there was an NPC in the Pokemon Center you'd have to talk to to get your mystery gift. I wonder if that's changed in this game. Like it was in Sword and Shield where it just magically shows up in your box. I mean, it does save you the time from having to, you know, talk to that NPC, thankfully, but still. Yep, yeah, just appears in your box. Alright, I'll hatch it. Let me uh, take out my Wug Trio. And we'll see. And I don't have- wait, do I have a Pokemon with the Flame Body ability? Because if I do, I'm putting it in the front. Let me see, let's search. Uh, flame Body or Magma Armor? Which I don't even know if that ability even exists in this game. Uh, flame Body. Yep, I don't have anything with Flame Body in here, so it's the old-fashioned way. Just by biking around. Wait, it just hatched. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. They even have, like, I put a few steps in and it's already hatching. Yep, Quaxlig. I Quaxlig hatched from the egg. All right, its strong legs let it easily swim around in even fast-flowing rivers. It likes to keep things tidy, and it's prone to overthinking things. If I just name him Wade Duck, <laughs> you know, screw it, Wade Duck from Garfield and Friends. He's afraid of everything, man. Now, let's see your stats. Alright, neutral nature, that's not half bad. We can, we can use that. And special thanks again, now I have all three starters. Even though I gotta be careful not to overlevel this. Unless, actually, I'm curious of something. Is it because I'm the one who had- oh, wait. <laughs> that's broken as heck. Because I'm the one who hatched the egg even though it wasn't originally mine, it's, it registers me as the original trainer, so I can overlevel it all I want and not have to worry about it not listening to me. That's funny. <laughs> Alright, might as well train a little bit, and we can evolve it either in this episode or the next. And I'm gonna hit the war- no, I'm not. Okay, good. Let's check the map, and I think I'll know where my next destination is. All right, I could. Get, how am I supposed to even get up here? All right, that that'll be a discussion for another day. But I know the bug type gem is around here somewhere. That is okay. All right, some areas up here I haven't been to. All right, this is where we have to go for the bug type gem. I think I should go here next. Since bug is considered the worst type in all of Pokemon, apparently. All right, that's actually pretty close to here, so perfect. We could just go up here then. Let us speed travel. We've had our business down here. We don't need to be here any longer.
All right, we're gonna go down here next. All right, open gates. Here is an area we haven't been to yet. And we start off with an ice type. Uh, what am I called? I'd like to see what the ice type hat looks like. Well, we'll know soon enough. Challenge alone. We don't need... Any help here? <laughs> it's just a giant snowflake. <laughs> I don't have bounce with you yet, so I'm gonna catch this. Burn him to stake. All right, easy victory. All right, bound sweet is registered to the Pokedex. Agreed and drawn in by the sweet scent of these Pokemon. We'll tuck the bound sweet in among the berries in its tail and carry them all away. That seems like a good way for it to pollinate its seeds, actually. As wrong as that sounds, but it's a flower, so I don't know. Mary Boo. We got Mareep here, and you know me, I gotta catch me a good Mareep because Mareep is awesome. Alright, we're learning wing attack, get rid of Growl. And Aqua Jet. And funny, my Wug Trio just learned Triple Dive and now I don't even get to use it. <laughs> Alright, you're- wait a minute, why are they only level now? Was I supposed to be here in, in this place earlier? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, maybe I was supposed to come up here first and then do the poison type stuff. Well, then again, this game has a lot of non-linearity, so... It's not fully a bad thing, I guess. I really think the wild Pokemon should just scale to your level, though. You're around level 25? They should be around level 25. Or level 30, level 35, all that stuff. Alright, crit catch, stay in the ball. There we go! Still 
still better than Wooloo in every single way. Its fleece grows continually. In the summer, the fleece is fully shed, but it grows back in a week. Alright, Shocky Orb, I'm naming it. After an Air Frost, I had in my Pokemon Gold that I have on my 3DS. And there's another raid over here. Let's go after it. Contras in this game, that's good to know. And it's Trastal Water. Oh, so I see something that looks pretty good in the background over there. Well, we'll take a look at it after this raid. And Contra's one of the greatest water type Pokemon ever lived, don't even at me. That Mega Launcher Choice Spec strat is one of the strongest things that ever lived. Alright, the Seed Bomb will kill. Bye yeah, bye. Alright, uh, would you like me to give it to you in exchange of another Pokemon then? And I guess the and in Scarlet you get um what am I call it Scrub. I guess if you happen to have a Scrub on hand, I'll take that if you're fine with that. Cause I, I'm pretty sure Scrub and Dragology are in this game. Yeah, put a Choice Specs on it for me. Those things are awesome. Choice Specs and Mega Launcher, man, it's the greatest thing in the world. I'm mostly just doing these for the candies. Alright, Clauncher's claw will regrow if, it fall, if they fall off. The meat inside the claw is edible, but it has a distinct flavor that doesn't appeal to all tastes. Ravager Claw. Wait, did I? Oh, of course, never mind then. About naming it, I mean. Cause I guess I pressed the wrong button accidentally. Alright, Wade Duck should be evolving and I get to see what its second evolution looks like. A lot of people don't seem to like it from what I hear. Alright, Wade Duck wants to learn double hit. You don't need that. Hey, well, Aqua Cutter, what's this? Alright, pay 70 power. The user expels pressurized water to cut at the target like a blade. This move has a heightened chance of landing a critical hit. Not gonna lie, that sounds like something uh, Samurott should have had. All right, let's see what that Quaxle evolution looks like. Wait, Wade Duck is evolving? Quaxle, Mon, did you evolve too? What are you turning into? What is this? Th huh? 
I mean, it's Quaxwell. I mean, the name's pretty cool, I guess. But what are those flippers, man? All right, Quaxwell. They're practicing Pokemon. And I... Okay. I mean, eh, it might grow on me, I guess. I mean, they're definitely less humanoid so far than the Galar starters, I'll give them that. Oh yeah, that red thing that I saw. Alright, you ready to do the trade? Or, you know, let me catch this thing here. I want to see what this is. Ah, oh, Mastiff. He's already seen the evolution of this thing, thanks to Arvin. And we, we need three dog Pokemon new dogs in the same generation. I'm not complaining, we love dogs out here. And it's a dark type, okay. It looks like it's in pain or something, or it's like holding in something. Alright, its well-developed jaws and fangs are strong enough to crunch through boulders, and its thick fat make yeah, thick fat makes it, it for an excellent defense. He just looks like he's in pain. <laughs> yeah, Chiffy. Okay, then uh, let us do a trade. And I think I'll face a few more raids and level up my mods even more, and then we'll end things off. Alright, you see the code right here? Let's get searching. Oh, I thought it's, I think I saw this thing at some point, I just didn't catch it. I mean, we finally have a Pokemon based on a dolphin, though, that's cool. I don't know why it took him nine generations to do that, but hey, finally. In my opinion, this is probably what Poplio should have been, but whatevs. All right, Finizen. Its water ring is made from uh, sea water mixed with a sticky fluid that Finizen secretes from its blowhole. And it only evolves once. All right, Water Veil, that's an ability I haven't seen in a while. All right, that'll be the end of that. Vespa Quinn, I can live without it for now at least. And here's our next town where the bug type gym is, but we are not going to tackle that just yet.
Alright, Quex, we'll get on up here. <laughs> that side just blinks into existence. Yep, I can make that jump. Yeah, just barely. Ah, that's a spider. Right, Fletchender, hey, Toxel's here. Now this will be a good time to see its moves. Aqua Edge, I mean Aqua Cutter. And I accidentally killed it. Ah, whatever. Another great ball. All right, its territory has a radius of just over a mile. If a bird Pokemon should enter, it will show them no mercy. All right, this one I'm gonna name Fletchy after. A very old town flame I had back when Pokemon X and Y came out. Actually, I think I still have that town flame too in my copy of Pokemon Y. Alright, let us face off in this raid over here. And Hatena is a ooh, dragon type, that's interesting. Alright, Telekinetica, it's your turn. Man, paralyzing me, that's rude. It's into the calm Pokemon. It senses the feelings of other cre living creatures. Be careful not to expose it to strong emotion for too long, or it'll end up exhausted. Don't do that with its evolution either. Or it'll tear you limb from limb, literally. Nah, just call it Hatchress. I think that's another name it could have had.
All right, another Toxel right over here. It's a good thing I'm not also a flying type, even though you really should be. All right, come on, stay in this ball. Stay in the ball, dude. Right, I don't like this little barrel ballerina stance he's taking. That just looks weird. Yeah, we gotta go into a ground type just to punch this little kid. Stay in the ball. Oh, my God, come on. Okay, you were going to also accidentally kill you, so no. Stay in the ball, man. You're wasting my time here. You know, low kick, that shouldn't kill. You need Jerry's preload, you just will not stay on the ball.
There we go. Alright, and selfish attention seeking Pokemon. The selfish attention seeking Pokemon stores poison and electricity in, in two different sects inside its body. And I can probably guess which ones. And the return of Axel. My Pokemon Sword and Shield. Also, was there a Pichu in the background there? And Hound Hour, I haven't caught one of these yet. Stay in the ball. Thank you. All right, dark fire type. It uses different kinds of cries for communicating with others of its kind and for pursuing its prey. All right, dull doom. I always had the idea for a regional Pound Hour and Hound Doom based on Dalmatians, and there'd be firefighter dogs instead of, you know, dogs that cause fire, and they'd be normal water type. I'm going to go fight that steel type right over there. That's what I want to do, and I think that will end things off. With an evolution for Telekinetica. Agility. I'm using agility right now. It's making me so much faster. It's a peony. Don't need it.
Alright, Trastal Fletchling. Let's see what type it is. But you evolve into a fire type, man. You don't need to be another fire type. Is that electric bird? I forgot its name already. Watch roll, that's its name. Wait a minute, I just hit it with a mudslide. How does it have no effect? Nah, don't need it. I'm good. Alright, Duck wants to learn Air Slash. I'll give him Air Slash. Alright, I think one final raid should do, and then I'm ending things off here. However, there may be another raid. Um. Some of those shiny guys down there. We're gonna make this jump. Yeah! Alright, that looks like it's gonna be a electric type. Oh no, it's rock type. Okay. Actually, I don't think I've seen the rock type uh, hat yet. So this would be a good chance to see it. Alright, Wade Duck, you're coming in here.
And that's the rock type gem. It actually looks a lot bigger than the ground type one. I'll give it that. I kind of like this one, actually. It looks real good. It kind of looks like an uh, upgraded version of the normal type one. Let's use these candies to get Telekinetica to evolve. And that'll be the end for t for this episode. Oh, didn't get us quite there yet. Alright, not just yet. Okay, then. I'd find them one more. And thankfully, we know the perfect spot where you can go to. Here is a normal type one. Normal type Growlithe. Alright, low kick. Take him out. My only access to a fighting type move on this team, so gotta do this. Now the ground type growth I caught in a previous episode was better than this, so we're not going to bother. Alrighty, now let's see an evolution before we end things off. Alright, level 30. What, well, Telekinetico's evolving? Yeah, currently I'm on GG Evolve Team. God, come on. Finally, you're no longer dead weight on the team. Alright. In Alicia's psychokinetic energy, at full power when protecting a trainer it has bonded closely with. And we all know that Galoid goes there, so. Yeah. Dazzling Gleam. Good move to have. And 
the rest of that will go to the duck. And the team's looking pretty spicy right now, but I think we should end things off for now, and I'm going to do a bit of off-screen grinding. Thank you, everybody, for watching this edition of my Pokemon Violet playthrough. And if you enjoyed this, you might see more. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow, do whatever you need to do to support the channel so you don't miss out on other great episodes like this. And if you happen to be on YouTube, uh, please click one of the videos you see on screen right now and hit the bell button for more. And special thank you to Takayami underscore Dark Shadow 1015 for joining me for the stream for as long as you did, trading me those mods, and becoming a member of the Gamer Bears. Anyways, thank you, everybody, for watching, and have yourselves a nice day.